I would like to start by saying a few things about Dr. Menon. Simply put, I would not be here were it not for him. Dr. Menon, you're indeed the brightest and the kind of, kindest person that I have ever met. I was very shocked in 2005 visiting uh, Detroit. Uh, Dr. Menon did not open the endopelvic fascia, which was considered as a standard procedure. And then I just couldn't believe and understand what was happening in front of my eyes. And now, after seven years, uh, I, I'm trying to uh, imitate what Dr. Menon has been uh, performing for many, many years, more than 5,000 cases in his institution. So this is one of the ways we can use robotic technologies to do better surgeries as a surgeon and, and offer better outcomes for our patients. When it comes to complex procedures like this, uh, you know, nobody did it better than you did with prostatectomy, where you figured out how to make it a beautiful procedure robotically uh, and really take the best of open surgery and actually improve upon it. Dr. Menon is one of the brightest medical persons I've ever known. He's extremely analytical, very hardworking, very innovative. And that is why we see the robotics at its current stage. My robotic surgeon had to have done as many radical robotic prostatectomies as I have done kidney transplants. And at that time, that was only 2,000. And there was only one person in the world who was qualified to do my procedure, and that was Manny Menon. Dr. Menon, thanks a lot. And it's an um, easy process when you have a mentor like you who can see the future, who train how to do things, and who train how to think. And uh, uh, that is one thing which we learned a lot. Coming from Michigan to any other place was very traumatic for me, but it turned out good for the career standpoint. But the amount of time I spent in Michigan just talking to him, and this just talking to him, I think has been the biggest mentorship which anyone can have. After seeing my own urologist, Dr. Menon's name popped up uh, very quickly. So I did some reading and some background work and quickly understood that he not only was a pioneer, but his team has the best track record of anybody uh, in the world, really. I would think he's the world innovator. Plus, he's a single medical center that's actually training physicians. When you talk about the Dr. Menon, everything is first. He's the first foreign medical graduate who, was, who did a residency from John Hopkins University. He, the first person after coming out of the residency, became the chairman of the Department of Urology. Dr. Menon, who uh, without his vision and courage to take on this project, uh, uh, it should be clear, if not now by the end of this conference, that none of us would be here uh, without the work that he, uh, he undertook and for Rajan Padma Vidakuti for funding the whole crazy enterprise. There's a lot of great surgeons, but very few can really provide uh, a very good care at the same time for the patients, and which is very mm -hmm. important to the patients. Yeah, he's the best. Bye, bye to the V1. Dr. Menon and the Troy both made me cry. Many of uh, Dr. Menon's uh, trained fellows, residents have graduated from his program and gone on and become leaders in their own institutions. Many of the techniques that evolved were attributed to the work that Dr. Menon did. He was really a pioneer and a, a visionary. I think intuitive and rest of the world owes about robotic surgery to him a lot. When we started, everything was crude. We didn't have this HD. We didn't know the techniques. We were developing it. So your state of evolution will be a 100 times easier than my uh, state of evolution.